I'm going to show you today how to use the Ken Burns effects with video. So a lot of people ask the question, can you use it with video and then can you rotate uh, the Ken Burns effect? You can do this with video or photo. So in Final Cut Pro 10, I'm going to select the area I want, or you can hit R and do a range selection where you want it to do. But I'm just going to do this entire clip right here. This is me when I was over at B&H Photo waiting for some gear. You always have a happy face when you're waiting for gear or a sad face because you're spending too much money. So what I'm going to do, go under the crop button, then I'm going to click on Ken Burns of the video. So if I'm going to do the video, Ken Burns, I'm going to start it off. I'm going to just reverse it, start it off small, and then make it wide. So start off on my face and then make it wide. Alrighty. So we can just play it through and we'll see how it looks. And there it is with HD footage. It's moving. Not as stable as it should be, but it works just like that. Now what we're going to do next is that we're going to rotate a little bit. Okay, so once we do that, we're going to turn the video. So I'm going to click on this button right here. And we're going to uh, set an initial keyframe right there. And we're going to move, move, move the video till we get here. And then we're going to turn it with this button right here and turn it ever so slightly. And then once we turn it ever so slightly, what we're going to do, we're going to make it 25%. And then once we turn it so slightly, we're going to still, and then we're going to move it around. And now you see how that arrow goes right there? Then we'll hit done. That's, um, that's a keyframe right here. So we're going to look at it. And it's moving, see, ever so slightly. And there it turns. All right, so if you wanted to edit this or see how this works, you would just go into here, hit edit, show video animation. And then once I show video animation, I see the transform, I see the keyframes, and I can go here and I can move the keyframes over if I like, move it down, move it up, all of that stuff. And I can take the transformation off if I wanted to. But you see the keyframes right here and the positions that it that it holds. So when I'm going here, when I move the keyframes closer together, that means it's going to go a lot quicker. All right. So when I transform everything, watch what happens. OK, moves a lot quicker, but you can, you know, format it to taste however you like to do it. And then if you wanted to just do some more, we can go and uh, we can analyze and stabilize it. We can edit the effects some more and and see it like that. So that's a way to do it. The Ken Burns effect. And um, you can add so many more different things uh, to movements, to all types of, of, of things to make your video stand out in the crowd. This can be done with photos or video. Thanks so much.